Imagine a journey that takes you to lands inhabited by breeding birds and assorted species of penguins. On the very same voyage, you find yourself exploring some of the most remote wilderness landscapes within the Southern Ocean. Sitting quietly in nature and listening to the rhythm of its song. The first thing that struck me was shutting my eyes and listening to the sounds. It's almost primordial, but beautiful. And then to open your eyes and to see those penguins. It's a vision that you can't imagine you have to experience. You can experience all of this and more on our voyage that takes you to the Falkland Islands, South Georgia, and the Antarctic Peninsula. This means you can enjoy the entire Antarctic region in one expedition. There is much to see. Nature in its most raw form, abundant and diverse wildlife, remnants from bygone days, Learn about the human history that shaped these remote, mysterious places. This trip has something for everyone. You get to experience all of this on a voyage led by the most experienced expedition team in the industry. Quark Expeditions has been exploring the polar regions since 1991. Our vessels are specifically built to explore remote polar regions to take you to places no one else can. On our first stop, we'll experience history and incredible wildlife. That's what the Falkland Islands are known for. The moment you step foot on any island of the Falkland Islands, you see many different types of penguins. So they're pretty much everywhere. Like once you can sit down and they will approach you. The fact that we have the wildlife specialists part of the staff team gives us all a chance to learn so much more and, and I, I didn't realise how much there was to know about these birds. It's very interesting visiting Port Stanley and going to the pub and there were definitely reminiscences of England. We depart from the community of Stanley, our last interaction with civilization, as we head for the wild and untouched island of South Georgia. Here, there is more biodiversity than anywhere else on this planet. It almost leaves you speechless because the words are insufficient to explain the beauty. The colors of South Georgia were stunning. There were king penguins with golden highlights as far as the eye could see. Dark fur seals hid in the green tussock grass and white glaciers sparkled on tops of mountains and reached right down to the ocean. The lecturers have been just top quality. I think we've come away with so much more than we could have ever anticipated, really. The Gritviken visit was an unexpected surprise and pleasure. I love history. It brought a tear to my eye to see the graves of Shackleton and his second-in-command Frank Wilde in the simple Whalers Cemetery in Gritviken. The toast to Shackleton was a great moment, especially after hearing the entire story from our historian on board. Heard the text that nature renders, we had seen the naked soul of man. Landing on the Antarctic Peninsula is without a doubt a dream come true for polar enthusiasts. The seventh continent has so much to offer. The place is a sensory overload. I love adventure travel and going to the most remote continent seemed like the ultimate adventure. Oh, fabulous. <laughs> there is an adventure option for everyone. Explore the area in diverse ways and experience the environment from a different perspective. These off-ship excursions get you closer to the polar environment in ways you never dreamt were possible. High five! <laughs> I don't think anybody could possibly come back unchanged. The reason for that is the beauty of what we have seen and what we've experienced. It's like art, and beautiful art creates emotion, and emotion creates memory. <laughs> <laughs>